Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. This one is suggested by the community. So today we are going to be learning how to make our own farmland and use it in the custom crops. Um, this was suggested by one of the people on my YouTube channel, so uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing that we need to do is import our resources. We have only four resources. We have a model and a dirt texture as well as the wet and dry um, farmland texture on the top. So first thing that we need to do is import our texture. So what we're going to do is go to import block, go to wherever our files are stored and click um, start with dirt. So I named it custom dirt. We're going to open and we're going to need our custom farmland and whoop, and the last one custom farmland moist so those are our textures that we're going to be using now we can go to 3d models go to import json and import this one and you want to select your top texture for say dry farmland and you want to select dirt for dirt. Now because um, we need two block states, uh, what we want to do is go like that and then rename this to something else. So now we can import this one, so that one, and then open, and then we want to select our moist one, and then our dirt, and click next. So that's basically how you import that. I'm not entirely sure how to detect um, how the distance of the, the water gets the farmland moist. I think it would be an update tick. I haven't really experimented too much with it. I'm just going to show you how to use a block today with um, the actual mod. So we're just going to be using a single block. Uh, so we're not going to be using both of those models. We're just going to be using one uh, until I can figure out how to make functional <laughs> farmland. So uh, what we need to do is go to block and create a new block. So um farm land dry oh, we can just do wet and go here and then we want to select our texture so i'm just going to select the wet texture here and then we're going to slow select this one and uh, we want it to be a cutout map or mipped and for the dimensions so with the block dimensions, what we want to do is actually look from the 16 pixel height because we're shrinking it one pixel. So this is the number that we're going to have to put in. So 937. So if we go over here, we go to our one and go 0 0.937. And then we don't need to add any other information. We don't need to rotate the block, that's fine. Uh, what we need to do is give it a GUI name. So I'm going to give it um, custom farmland. And for the uh, type of tool, we're going to use a shovel. We don't want it to be affected by silk touch. We're actually going to tell it to drop uh, dirt. So we're going to select that one drop amounts, one's just fine. Uh, we want it to have the sound of ground. Ground's fine here too. Tick rate is fine. Harvest level, uh, we can set that to zero. And can plants grow on this block? No, we don't really need to set any other settings outside of disabling it from the inventory, but that's only if you have a tool set up, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, 
Now for these settings, if you go to Breaking an Explosion Minecraft Wiki and scroll down until you find Farmland, should be somewhere near the bottom, not exactly zero, but uh, near dirt, coarse dirt, dirt, farmland. So farmland for breaking, which is 0 0.6. So hardness is 0 0.6. And go to explosion. And we scroll down until we see farmland somewhere down here. So it's three. So we set this one to three for resistance, for explosion resistance. So, all right. So that's all we need from the internet, and we can click next. Particle effects we don't need unless you want to add your own. That's fine. You can play around with that. Um, we don't need a block inventory, so we can just move on from that. Um, this, we currently don't need any procedures. Uh, when I figure out how to update the, the block for like moisturizing, if there's water nearby, I would probably have to create a script for people to download and use because um, I have a feeling it's going to be really complex. So um, right now, don't worry about this. And uh, as far as block generation, you don't need to worry about that either. So the next thing that we actually need to do is import our, um, or configure our seeds to actually be able to place on this. So what we want to do is go to seeds. And if you see here where it says um, farmland here, I think this is farmland, pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's farmland. It's a little texture for it, that's why. So we're basically testing with the seeds if you're not familiar with the code. If not, I'll link the tutorial down in the description. Uh, it's like a five part tutorial series, but um, it covers all the basics of all the code, how it works. So it's basically testing uh, for two things. If there's air in that spot and uh, if there's farmland below in the current right click of the area so so what we want to do is actually click on this duplicate it we can get rid of one of these and what we want to do is go like this go like that go like that like that and set this to or and now we want to select our custom texture here. Now, if you have um, a dry state as well, so you would want to expand this one and put another one of these on it. So I'll just demonstrate it. So we would, we would remove this one and we would uh, go like this. So basically this would be your two wet and dry states like so, so wet, dry, and then it would go, okay, is it this or this? But it would also say, oh, is it these, right? So if it only needs to be one of these, if it's like that. And statements basically mean all this has to apply. So one of these basically has to be there, one of these three, but this, the it has to be either farmland and an air block above but it can't just skip the uh, farmland or vice versa. Both of these have to register, regardless of what three of the one it is. So actually we don't need that. I'm just gonna set this to delete and we're gonna move that, delete and bring this back to our regular state. And this is what you're gonna need um, because we just have one state. So we're gonna go next. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, expand, yep. So what you're gonna wanna do as well is um, add uh, and statements to all these things here too. So we want to go to Minecraft Logic, grab this light blue one, 
And where this is here, what we want to do is add that to this operator. Or, yeah, operator. And then we want to go or we're just going to duplicate this and find it again. I think it's this one. We're just going to close that. Uh, like that and we're going to put that our regular farmland right underneath it so basically it's going to test for either one of these and we just need to update these blocks here so duplicate oh no duplicate and then add that to the not statement i'm just going to expand this just to make sure yep that's all fine collapse and we want to do that to all of these. Delete that, clone that, duplicate, and we're going to go down here, delete this one, duplicate, click that so we can collapse this here, and we can collapse or open this one, expand, and we can delete that, we can delete that, and we can go clone and bring that down so it's like so and we can finally collapse that one and the last one we need to do is this one here so I'm just going to collapse that collapse that so we can just delete this and clone that So like that. So that's good. So that's that's the only two files you're gonna need. You're gonna need the crop block update and the seed right click. So that's everything you need to do. Uh, now let's hop in game and I'll just show you how everything works. All right. So welcome back in game. We got a little bit of a swamp here. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is place down. Scroll down to the bottom where this is. We're going to place down our own farmland and we're going to test our seeds which should be under here and we're just going to make sure that we can place it on top which we can so that's perfect and we also want to test our other block that we have in place as well so we're going to make sure that both of these can be planted on so yeah so that's basically how um, you can use custom blocks to plant your crops on. Um, as you can see here, the model that's here is um, exactly the same dimensions as regular crops. It just uses different textures. And uh, outside of that, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.